welcome everyone. I'm here with uh, Theo Pozoids, the uh, frontman and lead singer of Kingdom. Theo, how are you doing today? I am absolutely fantastic, living, surviving, perusing the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Of course, no worries. I just want to kick it off with a bit of a light question. So, why the name King Nun? Um, I think it came it came about randomly, to be honest. I didn't like it when we got it. I think it was just sort of throwing stuff at the wall, and then um, that's my extremely boring and stupid answer to your actually really good question. <laughs> but I mean, I I came I came to like it because it's sort of it it has a parallel in the sort of religious spiritual slash androgynous thing that I think has a lot to do with our music nowadays actually. Religious is in that it's it um, requires dedication and it revolves around a sort of union of people which I suppose is like a really sort of blurry vague idea of what religion is but that's why I came to like it which I think is more interesting than someone said king, someone said none and someone said yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that, that does bring me on to my next question, because um, obviously your, your music and a lot, and a lot of the, the art that the, the band presents does focus around, as you say, a lot of cultish imagery, sort of, you know, a lot of themes of, of religion and androgyny. Was that always the plan going into it or was it more of a sort of, oh, let's just make some music, see what happens kind of thing? It's like, um, I think when we started off, we were doing kind of bluesy stuff. And it was really kind of about the song rather than like a the concept of like an a, a discography and like a band. So it kind of came it kind of came about quite naturally. Like I'd I'd started making the lyrics um, sort of reference the the religious stuff in it, and not any specific religion. Just like just like as I say that in that like being a fan of music or being involved in the industry is sort of like is is kind of being quasi-religious in a way so I started bringing that in and then that fed into the visual and it was all quite uh, it was all quite natural really and it's um yeah it's just something I like to play with it's, it's a fun it's a fun concept to to work around and sort of work in the, the narratives of our songs into like you know I broke up with a girl and there was a church involved <laughs> Definitely, yeah and I mean yeah you 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 guys have sort of um use that that kind of religious idea especially with your your recent debut album titled mass absolutely amazing album by the way anyone listening check that thanks a lot album. thank you i appreciate that yeah, thanks love it um but yeah so in terms of putting together the debut album so what was that like did you just sort of have a bunch of singles ready and you compiled them or did you want to try and get more of a structure and a theme going we had like a a, a, a huge back catalog of songs that we had to work and sort through so it was like um, we we really wanted to write as much as original stuff as possible because it's like the thing is in like any creative industry I think that you're always or you should be I guess always excited about the most recent thing. So in a kind of selfish way we wanted to make new stuff so we could be excited about the new stuff. But we also had this Im immense back catalogue. So it was kind of like a, a lot of that the early process was like picking things from this and sort of writing around the sort of theme that we were picking up from the old songs and then uh, working them uh, together. It was an incredibly long process. I think it was like, it was like four or five months in a studio or something like that. Like we had like beards and we were like haggard. <laughs> Rocking in the corner haggard. going haggard. crazy, yeah. <laughs> like we, we left like ZZ Top or something. Um, it was like, yeah, I think that was, um, I think that was like really simply that was the process really. It was like working, working with old songs and writing new stuff until we can kind of carve out what the general picture is, which comes about with like names and stuff like that for me. Speaking of being in the studio, uh, so you guys uh, at the moment, you're building your own studio or you're, you're documenting it with the the Gospel Peel series, which I'll talk more about in a minute. How, how has that been building your own studio? You know, is there any sort of anything you didn't expect, any challenges that just kind of came out of nowhere? Or how, how's it been? Yeah, we're building our own studio. We bought um, uh, we bought a beautiful space in southwest London, uh, ripping up the floorboards, doing loads of bloody manual labour and stuff like that to, to get it together. And it's sort of, and as we had this brief gap of like making music and trying to make like a, a second album, which is what we're working up to, it's gonna, it's taking a hell of a long time because of like, 
predicaments that like um that we are getting there so in this gap i realize that there's got to be something that we can fill the space with to sort of keep people involved with us and also just sort of let us stretch our artistic muscle because there's a lot of like there's a lot of ideas that are just passing us by as we're like nailing stuff into the floor so i thought like we'll do a kind of we'll do a kind of sort of gorilla uh tour diary like not really vlog because I, I really I, it cringes me out when, when like any of us have to like talk to a camera and be like, hey guys what's going on but like we just sort of you know like film what's going on and then so I started picking up that and then there's also this thing which is I love visual art I love really grotesque humor and like janky animation so I thought like yeah what what if we combine these things into like it's a tour diary plus monty python this will kind of be a way to show people what we're doing as we're building the studio and making new music until we get to the second album and it will be also a way for me to just kind of keep painting and animating and making stupid jokes and little garage band songs and stuff along the way so uh, that is the idea behind the gospel peels. And I believe the studio might actually be done in like a few days. And when we're done with that, it's gonna be, um, it won't just be for us, it'll be for a, a whole bunch of other bands locally. We mean to, we mean to get them in, record them, help them out um, along our way, making the album. It'll be called The Monastery and uh, it'll be open soon. <laughs> Love that, monastery, brilliant. <laughs> and actually, yeah, so, talking about the gospel peels for those of you who haven't seen it it's a it's a series of sort of instagram shorts on the uh, on the band's instagram page um and it, it is yeah it's very reminiscent of those sort of monty python 2d kind of sketches um in yeah, which yeah. it's yeah it's documenting you guys you know building the studio with so is all that art done yourself the animations that you you put into the uh put into the videos yeah yeah so, so it's like, um, so I've been keeping these like journals for as long as I can remember. I have a stack of them like this high. And the one I have at the moment is laid out in front of me is called the Gospel Peels. And it's just like loaded with these like, with these stupid sketches and like these like little ideas. So I just thought like, um, let's just try and make this book like live action because <laughs> like like let's just try and bring it to life somehow and the, the animation in general has, has always been a lifelong love of mine so it's like um so i thought like yeah we'll just bring this thing to life so um so uh yeah 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 it's yeah it's, it's all it's it's all our stuff it's all my stuff that's, that's brilliant i mean, actually yeah speaking of this sort of this animation and you know different art mediums other than just music uh are there any plans for for you or the band to kind of explore you know different areas more more sort of stuff in terms of art animation rather than just um, I music think, um i mean when we when we go through the process of like making making music i've got one eye really really fixed on visual stuff like about like uh, what, what's this music video going to look like what's this album cover going to be like like i'm a, like i'm a i don't know like i'm a i'm a material dude i really really love names and good artwork like a good band name a good song name and a good artwork will, will really keep me in there for a long time what is to come in the gospel fields i'm so so excited for people to see it gets like these first two that are out at the moment is just me just trying to like kind of work on an aesthetic and kind of watching a lot of the mighty boosh and try and re recreate what i love about that and sort of um and, br and bring that into our own fold but what is to come is so fantastic it gets so much weirder and so much more elaborate and like i generally i get better at putting the aesthetic across it's um the, the gospel peels is are like separate from music output at, at at the moment which is a you know a good way to keep people involved stretch our artistic muscle <laughs> definitely yeah i mean i mean for you know so I, i've watched the uh, the recent episodes of gospel peels and uh i gotta say it, it is brilliant some of the uh, impromptu songs i'm waiting for a full release you know uh looking oh, for carrying you. things to places <laughs> oh yeah yeah that was um that's that's just like i love i just i love a little weird stuff like that the third so how did you record the them? oh the third is that coming out uh coming out soon uh sunday 6 p.m oh brilliant it is uh it's uh that is it it's it, it's got it's got tons of that stuff in it 
yeah, it's just a yeah, it's just Garage Band on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, it's like the, I mean, this place I'm in now is just full of little like little rubbish like toy keyboards and little guitars and stuff like that. So it's just kind of like. Anyway, you just kind of stand there and just wait for a funny idea to come and just hope it's not too cringy and just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the best ideas form, you know. So as well, apart from just, you know, the sort of the studio stuff and uh, the, the new new uh, series with the Gospel Peels, um, is there anything else you've been, been doing in quarantine apart from, you know, just trying to survive like everyone else? Oh, in like a, for a week in April, I had a brief stint playing pool. It didn't work out. But that was pretty good. But uh, the bloody, bloody loads of Mario Kart. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm a fierce competition. They got, um, they put, um, we got, we, uh, we got a Switch, a Nintendo Switch, and it was, uh, and I quickly became obsessed with it because the last like games console I had was a Wii, and that was like, and that was That's like throwback. Yeah, and that was, <laughs> Yeah, it was like it's like it's 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 good. Like it looks good, but everything everything is kind of just like, you know, it's, it's sort of like if this was me talking to you now, as opposed to it's like it's real life now. So I got um so so, so yeah, I'm well I'm I'm well I'm well into that, I'm well into Mario Kart, and then um, just you know I've got to ask what your what your main is as well then in Mario Kart. Oh, <laughs> bloody uh, Link, Link's in the Switch version. Which that is, that like, is a controversial so, choice. I've, I've never heard anyone do Link. I just want to sort of ask, um, you know, with with the <laughs> pandemic in 2020, it's obviously been a bit of a, a bit of a, a kick for a lot of a lot of bands, uh, especially around you know touring and gigs. Um, you know, but I don't want to focus on the negative. I want to sort of get a bit more positive and ask, what is your most favourite or memorable sort of gig been that you've uh, that you've done? And I think it was like uh, playing uh, opening for the Foo Fighters was like pretty was was pretty massive for us it was like a eighty thousand cap uh field and it was like that was a real like i mean we, i mean we thrive in like you know in like sweaty little little venues but it was like something like, like that was just it was just it just felt like this is this is what i want to do this is what i've always wanted to do this is perfect we have all of this space to just be loud as possible and just like bring up this bring up this confidence that comes from somewhere and just blow it up as big as possible like like big ego big big uh, yeah, big, uh, uh, check 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 me out i'm doing stuff and you're doing stuff too and it's amazing and we're doing stuff together and it's this big family and we love each other um that was pretty good we opened for black flag in san francisco that as like a fan of punk as a kid, that was pretty huge. La, uh, La Trianon, a French, uh, French venue. That was that was pretty. <gasps> that was bloody good. Nineteen ninety nine Paris. So many. I oh, saw you at that one. That the was nostalgic. That was really is near game. unbearable. Yeah. Just, I just want to sort of uh, fin- finish this off with. Um, just sort of just asking, you what's next for you guys? You know, obviously, you say you're you're working on the second album. You got a lot going on with the studio um you know so what what's what's your plans for the future um it is uh it is it is running and working in the studio the monastery which which as i say will be available to other bands to come and use um uh caius drums is a is a fantastic producer um he uh he's been um right since the beginning of our band he's always kind of sort of he's been um watching and learning from all the producers that we've used and our own demos at the moment sound like fantastic don't know like the songs but uh, i'm just getting there right but it's like uh but the production is fantastic so you know when the monastery is up and working if you're a band in southwest london we would love we would love to have you it would be in good hands uh we're making a yeah we're making a second album um, it's a. Uh, it's titled another four letter four letter religious reference, which um, which 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 I think is funny because I'm a massive geek, and um, and stay tuned for the gospel peels. The best is yet to come. I promise. It is gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be cool. It's definitely worth a check out. I will say, brilliant series. <laughs>
Oh, thank you so much for coming on. It's been great having Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Across campus, online, and on 12.51am, this, this, this is your student radio station.